remember when we took the covenant from you and we raised, raised the mount over you, over your heads. Again, it's a miracle. When the Torah was given to Moses, alayhi salatu was salam, when he came to his people again, then he saw that people had started worshipping calf. Then as we have read, the punishment was done, and that punishment was carried out. Then again, Hazrat Moses took, alayhi salatu was salam, with him 70 people. They went again to the pool, and there they repented before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and now they made a firm covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now to have that covenant very serious, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised the mountain over their heads. These miracles were happening then, at that time. But you know from the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, now the miracle is only this Quran. It's the intellectual miracle and not a miracle seen by these eyes or by these, heard by these ears. Not sensual miracles, but actually now the miracles are intellectual miracles and that is Quran. But before that, that was, you, we may say that was the infancy of mankind. And so these miracles were shown to them. But, but with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and this ummah, not such miracles. But you have to understand and you have to follow and you have to act. And you have to act through accepting all the hardships of this world. And then you have to fulfill your duties. Hold fast to what we have given to you. And remember whatever is there in it. And that is means Torah. So that you are saved from the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are saved from his displeasure. You are saved from the day of, from his punishment on the day of judgment. But then you turned away after this. After making that covenant. But your deeds and actions were to the contrary. Had there been no grace and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over you. Lakuntu bin al khasirin You would have been among the losers long ago, long before. وَلَقَدْ عَلِمْتُمُ الَّذِينَ عَتَلَوْا مِنْكُمْ فِي السَّبْتِ And you know very well, those of you from you who transgressed the matter, the law of Sabbath. Now this was a very hard law in the Sharia. And that was that this Saturday, this Yom Sabbath, actually to them also this Friday was given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But they themselves preferred from Friday and they chose Saturday. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided it for them. Well, this is the sacred day for you. You can't do any work, any worldly work, any work of earning anything. This whole day is reserved for remembering Allah, for reading Torah, for zikr, for salah, for prayers and so on. No work can be done. But you know, there was a tribe of theirs which was on the on the shore, seashore, at Aqaba. This is a famous place now. The dead tribe, you know, that lived at Aqaba. And catching fish was their profession. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested them. The details will come, inshallah, in Surah Al-Araf. So here we don't have time to go into detail. But they transgressed the law of Sabbath. And you know very much, very well, those of you amongst you who transgressed the, the law of Sabbath, we said to them, Kulu qiradatan As a punishment we said to them, Be monkeys. Be you monkeys despised and rejected. Fajallaha nakala lima bena yadeha. And we made this punishment an example for the people who were present before them and people who came after them. People who were their contemporaries, they knew that this nation, this tribe of ours has been given this worst punishment in the last. So then they became an example. An exemplary punishment was given. So we made them an example for people who were with them present at that time and people who were coming after them. And it became a lesson and a sermon for people who have any fear of God. <laughs>